Hey you guys, it's Miss Alexander and today we are working with conversions. Yesterday we worked with like feet and yards and inches and milliliter millimeters and centimeters and meters. Today we're working with kind of items that we'll be using in like the kitchen, like baking or cooking. So we're using like quarts and gallons, milliliters, liters, ounces, pounds, grams, and kilograms. Now, if we have a certain amount, so let's look at ounces versus a pound. We know one ounce is smaller than a pound. So if I'm saying I have so many pounds, how many ounces do, do I have? I know because the ounces are smaller, I need to multiply. But if I look at the other side of it, I have so many ounces, how many pounds do I have? I know right there I need to divide because the pound is bigger than an ounce. So let's go look at our examples. Here in our examples, I need to leave my conversions up so I can see them. I have how many gallons are in 24 quarts. So gallon to quarts, this means I'm going to divide. I'm going to quick go into here. There's one gallon to four quarts. And I'm going to use my neat little scribble tool right here. And with my finger, I'm going to write one gallon equals four quarts. Okay, so I have 24 quarts, you guys. I need to know how many gallons. So because there's less gallons than quarts, this is telling me I need to divide. So I'm going to go ahead and put 24, and remember this is a quart, and divide it by 4 quarts, because there are 4 quarts in 1 gallon. So my answer, my quotient, is going to be a gallon. So 4 goes into 24 how many times, you guys? You know what? You guys are right. It is 6. So I'm going to put my 6 in my quotient. I'm going to subtract. I have nothing left over. So 4 quarts is 1 gallon. 24 quarts is 6 gallons. Now I'm going to quick sit here. I'm going to hit save and close. And then I'm going to write down my answer. Now remember, I know this is an English thing, but in math you need to use complete sentences too. So we're going to learn to rephrase our questions so they fit in our answer. So I'm going to start off and say there are six gallons in 24 quarts. So we rephrase the question so that it was in our answer. Now when I see your answer, I know exactly what the question was asking. So now we're going to go to the next one. How many quarts are in 23 gallons? So now I'm going to click in and again I'm going to my scribble tool and as usual with my finger um, I'm going to do 4 quarts equals 1 gallon. I always write what the original thing is so that I remember. It's just something that works for me. I have quarts versus gallons. So I'm going to put my 23 gallons here. I'm going to multiply it by my 4 quarts. Because remember, there's more quarts than gallons because quarts is smaller than gallons. So I'm going to end up with quarts. So I'm going to do 4 times 3. You guys are right, 12. 4 times 2. Good job, 8 plus 1. 9. Now we have 92 quarts, which equals 23 gallons. So here we go. I'm going to save. And what do I do now, you guys? Awesome. Yes, rephrase my question to make my answer. So there are... 92 quarts and 23 gallons. I hope this helped under help you see how I did it. And remember while you're doing this to smile, giggle, and wiggle and have fun. Bye.